All right, I am, I am so excited to be taking Jessica camping, particularly to this spot. So if you've watched the last two SCAR videos, uh, this is actually a place that we found uh, on the second day and it looked amazing. Unfortunately, there were some already, already some people camping uh, when we came the first time. So I'm hoping there's nobody here this time and uh, we'll get it and uh, have an amazing Thanksgiving just to ourselves. But I decided to walk the trail a little bit. One, to make sure it's not too sloppy because it's been raining kind of recently. And two, just to make sure that no one else is down there because uh, I don't want to get into the situation where we pull up on people again. But, and I can tell from here, it is empty, which is awesome. I'm so excited. Jessica is gonna, gonna love this, but she's probably gonna be terrified of the trip down. The trail leading to this campsite is a steep, ruddy path with big off-camber sections. Once again, the camera never seems to do the trail justice. It's not crazy technical, but between the steep downward angle and the big shifts from side to side, you definitely want to be holding on to something while you're coming down. All right, let me show you to our campsite. It is beautiful. We've got the whole river running right here. We've got all this gorgeous space up in the mountains. We've got logs, we've got the fire pit. Uh, captain's running around, he's getting acquainted with the spot. Huge fire pit, by the way. Super big, loving this. And check this out. This is gonna be our soundtrack to the night. All right, well, it's already starting to get kind of late in the day and the sun's going to go down, you know, in a couple of hours, but it's going to be darker here sooner just because we're sort of in the mountains. So it's going to come down right above there. So uh, in not too long, it's going to start getting dark. So we're going to get camp set up, have some lunch, and then uh, start figuring out what to do from there. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, so we pretty much have camp all set up. It is looking awesome. Jessica's making us some turkey sandwiches because after all, it is Thanksgiving. And so our turkey will be our turkey sandwiches. It's roasted turkey though. Like she actually made a turkey and then we brought the, the stuff with it to, to do that. We weren't gonna cook a turkey out on the trail, but uh, we are gonna cook steaks tonight. So steak dinner, turkey lunch, but man, this place is just, gorgeous and Captain's super happy. It's awesome. So Jessica and I are still fairly new to camping, but um, we're also very new to cold weather camping. And so it's supposed to get down like freezing tonight in the low 30s, I think. So we've got a brand new tent that's a little bit more room than the rooftop tent, which is why we're not in there. The reason we had to go with this is because we have Captain with us and Captain no longer fits in the tent. <laughs> you excited there, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's having a blast just exploring. The last time we went camping with Captain, he was small enough that we could fit him in the rooftop tent on top of the trailer. That is no longer the case. So we got a slightly bigger tent, one that can fit a queen size mattress and his little sleeping pad. So we should be fairly comfy in there. And I've got a little Mr. Heater that I picked up at the Walmart. No, actually I got that at Sportsman's Warehouse uh, the other day too. So anyway, hopefully we won't get too cold. Uh, I think we'll be all right. We've got lots of blankets and stuff like that, plus the heater, so I think we'll be good. But uh, yeah, it should be an amazing trip. I'm super excited. This, this may be like my favorite Thanksgiving ever. No offense to any of my family that I'm not with right now, but 
How can you beat this? Huh? You having a good time? What you doing, buddy? Oh, you're wet. You're wet. Oh my gosh, stop. 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 If you happen to remember the first camping trip that Jessica and I did with Captain, one of the very first things he did was fall into a lake. And one of the first things he did when we got here was jump into the river. So we have wet dog again. All right, so just off of our campsite is a little trail and it leads down to the river and maybe beyond. So we're going to go exploring for a little bit before it gets to be dark and dinner time. And oh man, this is beautiful. Very short hike. <laughs> you just watched all of it, but check this out. Several of you have been asking for an update on Captain, so Captain is now seven months old, or just about to be seven months old. He absolutely loves playing in the water and stuff. He hates the hose. Can't stand the hose. Terrified of the hose. Raging, freezing river, he's all about that. So Captain has been a wild man. He has just been charging back and forth and jumping in the water and jumping through the bushes. He's just been absolutely insane. He's so happy and so excited to be here. And now he's so tired. <laughs> you tired boy? Are you tired boy? You're gonna give me the confused German Shepherd look? There you go. I'm confused. I'm confused. All right, so it's about time to start working on dinner. It's starting to get pretty dark out. It doesn't really look like it on, on camera, but it's starting to get dark out. So we're gonna make steaks tonight. Super excited about that. They should be delicious. And um, yeah, looking forward to steak. Yeah, get out of there. So I just checked the temperature outside in the Jeep and it is um, about 45, 46 is what it said. It's only gonna get colder as it continues to get darker and later, but you can, you can see our breath already. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, we can see our breath at this point. So that's cold for us. We're in South Carolina. We don't really get snow and stuff. So I know how you're like, it's, it's negative 400 degrees here in Alaska where we winter camp in our underwear. Like, I get it, but that's not what we do. And so this is kind of chilly for us. Mm -hmm. 
as we sat around the campfire talking and enjoying quality time together, we had no idea how challenging our night would really be. Whew. Well, good morning. It is very cold. It was a very... It was a hard night, I'll be honest. It was cold. Um, we discovered uh, that we totally forgot our pillows in the hustle of trying to get out last yesterday, so no pillows. Our air mattress apparently has a hole in it, so it was leaking all night, so like a bunch of times in the night we had to fill it back up. Um, our tent, not a winter tent. It's definitely a summer tent. The top is just like an open vent with the rain fly. So no heat stayed trapped in the tent at all. It all just right out the top. So even with the heater on in there, never really warmed up because the heat just went right out of it. So yeah, cold, cold night. But, uh, but it was still fun. It was still an adventure. We still enjoyed ourselves. So we're going to uh, start making some breakfast that's warm and start trying to warm up, but it's it's pretty cold. I wonder how cold it really is right now. So according to the Jeep's thermostat, it is 37 degrees out, which means it's probably slightly colder at its peak in the middle of the night. So yeah, it was chilly, chilly night. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Are you warmer? Much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't eat my, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Captain, no. I wore these for warmth, not fashion, even though they're <laughs> cute. <laughs> I think the big trick this morning is going to be keeping Captain out of the water before we get back in the Jeep to go exploring, because he's, he's just having a grand time. All right, so what's for breakfast? Eggs and sausage and coffee. Coffee is totally on the menu. All right, so apparently I figured out how to finally make coffee on a percolator. This coffee worked out way better than the last time I exploded coffee all over the place. So, you know, cheers. This coffee is, you know, I'll be honest, coffee's not really my favorite thing, but on a morning like this, yeah, I'm, I'm into coffee. <sighs> yeah, that's good. It's so cold still. See the breath? You can see it this morning. We planned to stay two nights, but with a leaking air mattress, a freezing tent, and no pillows, we decided to cut our losses. We packed up camp, did a little exploring, and then headed home. All right, we've got camp all packed up, and we're ready to head out. Now we've got the adventure of trying to pull this trailer and get this Jeep up this trail, because it is it is a gnarly, sketchy trail with all kinds of ruts and articulation and, and all kinds of crazy things. So getting the Jeep up this with the trailer, definitely gonna be an experience. Find the moment and make it. All right, I have no idea how that looked, but I mean, we were all kinds of sideways. But everything did great. Jeep did great, trailer did great. It's awesome. All right, there's still a whole lot more of this trail to go, but that first part looked fun. There's only one way out. Just to give you a little bit of perspective of how crooked things get, this is just a little bit, this is probably the, the least crooked of the crooked parts of the trail. And the only reason I'm doing it here is because I can actually get out and stand without falling over. All right, so this is the last little bit of the trail and it's probably the rockiest section. You can't really see it on camera here, but it is definitely rocky. So I just walked it to make sure I knew where my lines were. But anyway, shouldn't be a problem. I did it in the YJ, uh, except for the part where I'm standing on here. I had to go wide because my open diffs killed me, but this should be Easy, easy. All right, so Jessica and I have decided we are going to walk 
down this trail to a pretty little waterfall and um, just have a nice little walk through the woods with Captain. So we are on the Chattooga Trail, the Chattooga River. We are on the Ch Chattooga River Trail, which leads to the Spoon Auger Falls. Uh, it's supposed to be a very simple half mile hike, but a very beautiful waterfall. So we're gonna check that out. Find the moment and make it Write your headline and raise it to the sky No one else can create it Take your banner and raise it to the sky All right, so that's a bigger water crossing than I was expecting on our easy little half mile trail, but we're gonna do it. Hopefully Captain doesn't get himself completely soaked. After the waterfall, we headed back to the Jeep to explore the area a little more. We found some great trails and some awesome campsites, but those are a video for another time. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe so that you can see where we go next. Also, make sure to check out our SCAR series as we explore South Carolina and beyond. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the trails.